Hello everyone, this is James and welcome to Lectures. In this lecture, uh, we'll talk about acid-base disorders. Now let's start with respiratory acidosis. So respiratory acidosis is the accumulation of carbon dioxide due to decreased alveolar ventilation. And clinical presentation in includes somnolen somnolence, uh, confusion, uh, myoclonus, and seizures. And this is associated with um, opioid overdose, severe asthma, COPD exacerbation, and pneumonia. And management includes uh, treating the underlying cause, giving the loxam if it's overdose, um, putting the patient on a uh, non-invasive positive pressure ventilation or your BiPAP and if indicated you have to mechanically ventilate the patient and then we have respiratory alkalosis this is hyperventilation this is the opposite of acidosis this is the accumulation of oxygen in the blood okay? and clinical presentation includes shortness of breath um, Confusion also, like headedness, cramps, and syncope. And this is associated with panic attacks. This is also associated with uh, salicylate poisoning or aspirin, aspirin poisoning, and the initial presentation for uh, pulmonary embolism. And the management includes, of course, treating the underlying cause, or you have to let the patient breathe on, on a paper bag and you can also sedate the patient. If the patient is anxious, uh, has a panic attack, so you have to give some sedation or anxiolytics. Let's proceed with metabolic acidosis. Metabolic acidosis is the accumulation of acid and the loss of bicarbs. Clinical presentation includes um, tachycardia, headache, fatigue, and confusion. And then th there are two kinds of Metabolic acidosis, we have the high anion gap and then the normal anion gap. For the high anion gap, these are your diabetic ketoacidosis, um, your um, lactic acidosis, your alcohol ketoacidosis, and then drug overdoses such as salicylates. So your aspirin is both respiratory alkalosis and metabolic acidosis. And for the uh, um, normal anion gap, this is caused by diarrhea, ileostomy, and renal tubular acidosis. Just to refresh our memory about anion gap, so your AG anion gap is your sodium minus the sum of your uh, bicarb and chloride. Sometimes they include potassium, sodium, sodium plus potassium minus the sum of your chloride and bicarb. What are the management for metabolic acidosis? You have to treat, of course, the underlying cause, uh, fluid resuscitation, bicarb infusion, infusion if indicated, if you use bicarb if the, if, if the pH is below 7, and then if worse comes to worse, you have to do RRT or renal replacement therapy or the dialysis. And for the normal anion gap, management includes, again, treating the early line cause. You can also do fluid resuscitation or give um, your bicitra or your sodium citrate. Now, we are on the last acid-base disorder, and this is metabolic alkalosis. And this is the loss of acid and accumulation of bicarbs. And clinical presentation includes confusion, arrhythmias, and increased neuromuscular activity. It is associated with vomiting, injury suctioning, and diuretics, your loop and your thiazides. Management includes uh, treating the underlying cause, um, correcting uh, fluid deficit. You can also stop diuretics, of course, and then you can give uh, acetazolamide. Acetazolamide prevents the breakdown of carbonic acid and thus decreasing the pH. And that's all for today and I hope you enjoyed this video. 
Please subscribe, like and comment. Thank you.